Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 26, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. If you see folks fighting out of the blue corner, this man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record now. 12 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Hamzat Bors Chibaya. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for it. situation normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, 
Nice strike by McGregor. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on the slip. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the judge. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. That knee might have landed there. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, another tie. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Takedown defense holds up. Oh. Roundhouse kick, and it lands. It lands, and even if you think you're blocking it, it really is still having an effect on your opponent. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Just missing on the uppercut there. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. All right, single collar time now. Hook shot lands. Throwing hard in the pocket. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result.